suitcase. Love you, mummy. We love you, mummy. Love you more. <laughs> I can't believe I literally blubbering like a baby, and I'm only going to be gone for a week. Do duty do, do free shopping by myself. Like, Connor and the kids aren't wandering around anywhere waiting for me. Like, oh my god, this is so bizarre. Oh my god, this is so weird. Just me and you vlogging, no one else around, no kids, no husband. It's just us. This hasn't happened since like 2019, guys. Welcome back. If you're wondering what on earth is going on um, from the very emotional opening of the video, no, I am not going traveling for five years without my kids. I'm never going to see them again. I am just going back to the UK for one week by myself. Um, it is one of my closest friends' weddings in London and just decided that I was going to go. Obviously, Connor and I both had the invite, but because it's in London, we didn't really have anybody to have the kids and it was all just a bit of a palaver and I just thought, you know what, maybe it's just easier if I go by myself so Connor is so low for a week with the kids. <laughs> they're gonna have the best time. They've already texted me saying that they're going to hang out with some friends and go swimming. Just getting all the swimming stuff ready so they're gonna have fun. But oh my god guys I was so emotional leaving. Tell me you're pregnant without telling me you're pregnant. Like my hormones and my emotions when I'm pregnant are through the freaking roof. Anything makes me cry. We said goodbye to Lucy and Jordan yesterday and that was really emotional too. Just lots of tears, lots of emotions, lots of things like kind of coming to the surface at the moment because this kind of feels like a bit of a transition period. This is my first time back to the UK since we moved to America six months ago. It's a lot, you know, we've had Lucy and Jordan out for the last month. I'm going back to the UK feeling like things have changed slightly because when we left the UK and we were saying our goodbyes to everybody, it was like we were so excited for our next chapter that the goodbye didn't seem so hard because it was like we have something so exciting to look forward to and we don't know what it's going to entail. But when we said goodbye to Lucy and Jordan yesterday, it was like, okay, this actually feels like a goodbye because we're going back to our life out here, like our new flow of life that we've tried our best and worked really hard for to be like happy out here and to like make this home you guys are going back to our kind of like old life and the next time we see you we're gonna have a baby and it's just yeah i don't know like, if i'm being really really honest and i do want to do a big chat about this maybe in another video i need to do like a bit of an update on where like how i'm feeling and where my thoughts are currently because honestly saying goodbye to them and over the last couple of weeks having them out here it has been enough to make me want to move back to england and i know that sounds so dramatic and so like ott i think it i think it probably has something to do with being pregnant and just like emotion of bringing a child into the world but right now i'm I'm, I just like don't know what our future holds here at the moment. Like, it's just really confusing because we were so happy here. We are so happy here. But it's like then you get a taste of, of home and like where, you, where you've come from and you're like, I miss it, you know? I know there's going to be lots more tears coming for me over the next week because I am like being reunited with my friends and other family members and then saying goodbye to them again in a week and obviously watching one of my best friends get married like I'm gonna be so emotional and all over the place but then I might go back to the UK and this entire trip might be like 
actually I'm really happy with like the life that we've got ourselves in America and I don't want to lose that. Well guys it's such a first world problem to have, it really really is and I feel like I'm you know what's that saying saying this from an ivory tower i think it's just my feelings at the moment and i'm really looking forward to going back to the uk for a week and taking baby go oh my god guys can you believe we're having a daughter just realized this is the first time i'm speaking to you guys since the gender reveal oh my god more on that but i just feel like the luckiest woman in the world so just me and baby girl here she is she's getting big at Mexican restaurant having some enchiladas. The airport isn't very big. There's not much going on. Uh, my flight's already delayed 20 minutes, so I don't know how I'm going to spend my time. This is so bizarre being without <laughs> Connor and the kids. Honestly, I don't know what to do with myself. You know what I'm seriously looking forward to? Stocking my suitcase with British snacks. You cannot beat them. I've actually become not a snack girly out here. That's just I just don't enjoy the snack game in the US, it's just not the same. This is going to get everybody commenting. She's definitely going to move back to the UK. <laughs> I literally I had a spare space in my suitcase right when I was packing. I was going to put my pregnancy pillow in it and I thought, actually, do you know what? That is going to be my snack space when I'm on my way home. Digestive biscuits, Maryland cookies, Cadbury's bars. I might even put some great sausage rolls in there, guys. Okay, sprinkles, what you got for me, honey? Tanner for a milk chocolate bar. Oh my lord. Oh. That's cute. Get a song. Love sprinkles. Yes, I do. Love sprinkles. Oh my god. That is like paper thin. Please, guys, don't tell Cotton that cost me $10. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm about to worry it's like a it's kind of like a an irrational fear or like an irrational worry that life is moving on without you and that you feel as though you're missing out on people's lives and you no know, just as if you're never ever gonna go back to the same thing ever again I haven't even got off this train yet I've been looking out the window and it's like I literally could have left this place yesterday it's just so interesting to me it's actually about to pull into um, where we used to live, like the train station that was my local train station when we lived in England. It's just weird being back here, but I'll tell you what though, it is, it is lovely to see British countryside. That's one thing I've missed so much. I'm really proud of myself for doing this without Connor and the kids. I can't remember the last time I did this. I can't remember the last time I was by myself, even for half a day um let alone like you know getting on a plane and going to a different country for a week i've never done that even in my entire relationship with connor i've never done that so that's been 10 years and i just think when you become a mum, or at least i have found it's so easy to like wrap yourself up in the identity of motherhood and your kids and actually kylie jenner had an interesting interview with British Vogue that I've not read but I've only seen a couple of quotes from it 
and apparently she said in the British Folk interview that she didn't realise how like selfish we are, like people, how selfish we are until we have kids and then your life kind of obviously then revolves around your child and I saw that and I was like huh yeah I'd agree and then today like having this traveling day by myself I really felt it because I was like even walking around the airport I was like what I don't know what to do this is so bizarre like what do I want to, how do I want to spend my time right now and I just think it was a real like shedding of this layer of okay I'm leaving Ellie the mum at home this time, which I've never done. We are now approaching. I'm about to get off the train and see my best friend in the whole entire world and I can't wait. So I'm gonna... I think he's finished. <laughs> we leave the train oh. here at Westbury. Please do ensure we've taken over the safety departure boards and located on every platform here at Westbury. I'm excited for a week here, I'm excited for some time to reconnect with myself, to get clear on my feelings of how I'm, how I'm feeling at the moment. And I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I'll see you next time for my UK adventures. Oh!